Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic or Service Now Learning. This is the fifth video of Service Now JavaScript tutorial, and in this video, we are going to explore ternary operator and switch statement. We are also going to understand this concept by implementing a use case in Service Now instance. As per table of content, all the topics which are displayed in yellow has been covered in previous videos and in this video we are going to cover these two topics which are mentioned in green color. So let's see what is a ternary operator and how we can implement the same or how we can use the same. So friends ternary operator we can use as an alternative or if or else statement. It is basically a short method to perform what we perform through if and else statement. So when we will be implementing the same, you will get a better idea of the definition whatever written here. Okay. So here the syntax has been given that condition followed by question mark. If the condition evaluates to true, then this particular value will be assigned to a variable. If the condition evaluates to false, then this particular value will be assigned to a variable. So when we will be implementing the same, then you will be having a better idea. Even though I have also given the example over here. The example here is let's say we have a value x equals to 15, y equals to 25. Then we are comparing the same. If the condition evaluates to true, then Z is initialized with the value that is 100. If the condition evaluates to false, then Z will initialize with the value of 125. The same we can also achieve through if and else statement. Right here we have a code for the same, but here we are going to implement the same using ternary operator. So let's move to service now personal development instance and let's see how we can use it. So friends, this is my service now personal development instance. Let's navigate to background script. So for ternary operator, we are going to use background script and for switch statement, I am going to give a demonstration on a client side script. Okay. So here we have that. So as I have shown in the slide that where X equals to let's say 25, where Y equals to let's say 35. Okay. These are two variables. Let's say where Z equals to. So we have to give a condition as mentioned in the slide let's say condition then followed by question mark so condition can be let's say x is greater than y then followed by question mark then we have to give an expression expression means what value we want to give let's say 100 then colon and let's say 125 and then semicolon and then gs.info and here we have to print the value of z okay so here what we are saying let me give you understanding of the same here we are using this ternary operator syntax or we can say expressions right here we are basically evaluating two values same we do in if and else right in if basically we compare the two values if it evaluates to true go to a particular block and assign the value so if evaluates to true then this value will be assigned to z and if this evaluates to false then this value will be assigned to Z okay here I am giving an example so because of that I have given 100 and 125 but while doing a implementation of any of the requirement accordingly you have to give the values right let's execute see 125 because X is not greater than 35 which says that this will not assign to this whatever is in false will assign to this as I have mentioned in the statement that condition expression if true go to here expression is false go to here so expression is false so this is going to here okay in other words if we try to understand that let's say remove this mention x equals to true this is a boolean value i have given to x i am saying z x okay let's run it see again it is saying 100 which says that x equals to true which which means that x has a value right if x has a value go assign this if x doesn't have a value assign this let's say if i am saying false see 125 means evaluates to false go here evaluates to true 100 will be going to z in other words let's say zero Let's run the script. See 125. So 0 basically we consider as false in JavaScript. Okay. While doing scripting. And 1 we consider as true. So the value which is greater than 0. Consider as 
true or smaller than zero considered as true the value zero is considered as false okay so you can change any of the logic but the main understanding concept is that we can use in this way where we have to give a condition followed by question mark then we have to give the value of the expression which which will be assigning to a particular variable when it's true and here we have to give the value which will be assigning to a variable when the condition is false so this is basically a ternary operator i believe now you have a better idea of the definition right so the definition says that it is basically a short method to perform what we perform through if and as statement as i have shown there right in other words we can say that we can use the same as an alternative of if and else statement in other words right the ternary operator assign a value to a variable see here we are assigning a value to a variable right based on the condition based on the condition okay provided to it below is the syntax for the same i believe now you have a proper understanding of ternary operator right so now let's move to switch statement and let's see what is that and how we can implement it so switch statement basically a good way to execute a required code based on the input provided by a single variable in other ways it is a good or a cleaner way to do if else if else if else on the same variable so for the understanding of definition definitely we are going to implement it right once we implement then you have a better idea of a switch statement also so to implement the use case which we are going to implement is we have given in the for example so that let's say in service no incident form state field choice list contain values let's say one two three four so based on the value selected in the state we have to execute some code okay so let's say if the user select the value one then a particular code will execute if the user select a, a value two in a state then another value another code will get execute so I, i'll showcase you that how we can do it but for an example switch case basically having a this type of syntax where we have to provide a specific value to a switch okay then we have to produce a case basically case values is basically belongs to the values which we are going to display over here if it is a dynamic values based on that we are executing the case if it is a static values so based on that the case will get executed let's say we have given a static value 5 over here let's say switch 5 and if we have a case with a value 5 then that particular code will get executed so while we will implement that in service instance then you will be having a better idea of it so the same thing if we have to achieve through if else if statement then in that way we can also achieve it so as i have said in the definition earlier that it is a good or a cleaner way to do a if else else if on the same variable okay so let's move to service norm personal development instance to implement this use case and to understand the switch statement logic so friends let's move to client script as i said earlier that i will be telling switch case in client script okay service no instance is necessary right to see the things because anyhow we are service no professional right so here let me give you switch statement demo we are talking about incident form so i am selecting an incident over here then i am selecting a type as on change let me give you a brief first wait 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 incident so what we are going to implement let me give you a brief of a use case first otherwise you will not understand what basically i am writing so what i am trying to say let's say if i select this one then a particular code will execute if i select this one then a particular code will execute okay so code will be different or the the, why I'm saying code because you can do any manipulation over there in that particular piece of code or in a, that particular piece of block right let's say if you select this then a other code which you want to manipulate will get executed so how you can achieve the same using switch okay so this is a basically use case which we have to execute today now for that what we need is basically the state values okay let me leave okay so here type incident basically this state is basically uh, coming from a task table right 
so because of that lots of table which are inheriting task is getting displayed earlier right so here i have given incident incident is using these labels and these are the values okay so here i am going to this client script let me close this background script now for now okay on change on the change of state field so what we have to implement we have to implement switch over here so for switch type switch oh and then you have to give brackets and then curly braces okay so as i have displayed in the that switch then a particular value right so value will be dynamic which is coming from a state because user can change any state anytime right so i'm saying variable state value equals to g underscore form dot get value so here i'm giving a name of a state field here okay so basically what it will give this syntax will give the value of a state let's say if a user select in progress then this value will be assigned to that variable if you just select resolve then this value will be assigned to a variable okay here okay now switch state value so let's say value is dynamic sometimes it will be one sometimes it will be two then three then six then seven accordingly we have to mention the case now let's say case one colon and then break this is the way we can create one case case one break then i am saying case two then i'm saying break okay then case six then i'm saying break now you are thinking that why i have given one two six right so one if state value is one then one so because of that i have written one so it will check this value is one then this code will get executed whatever written over here in between this okay if the state value is two two then whatever code is written over here will get executed for example if the state value is one means if the user selected new then this code will get executed if the user select two means in progress then this code will get executed and if the user select six six it means this resolved if you select resolve then the the code which i will be given over here will get executed okay i will i am not giving all the uh, uh let's say values over here okay and and now last i have to mention default default means if the case doesn't meet then the default will get executed whatever code is written over here okay so let me give like g uh, alert so you can give any code over here whatever manipulation you want to do just for understanding i am telling that how we can declare the switch and how we can use it okay alert user has selected or user no i can say you have selected new state okay one is new to what was that in progress okay let me copy this in progress so i am giving the same name over here so that you will be sure that okay we have selected in progress and this particular code executed here six i believe was resolved right so here i am saying resolved okay and default when the case doesn't meet right so let me give an alert over here okay so let me give please uh, please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet yeah i am doing my bit promotion through it okay <laughs> okay so we are done with the code let's save it okay so here let's open an incident form go to new okay so let's change the value of state please subscribe my channel but we have selected one then again we are saying resolve please subscribe my channel means code is not going as mentioned by us right 
where we have mentioned the code every time it is going to a default means these conditions are not met it means this the value which we have given as a number we have to check a type of state value okay so let's say alert type of state value okay if it is a string then we have to give a string value over here case okay let me save it okay so here just execute it again reload the page here we have new i have given in progress so the first is coming as a string which means that the value which is coming over here that's a string value and here we are giving a case in a number or an integer value so what we have to give we have to make it as a string number one number two number six so let's remove this and save because this is not required now the alert one we made the case as a string now just go and refresh the page now so let's see when I select in progress see whatever code is mentioned there in the case in progress it's getting execute now let's move it to resolve see whatever we have mentioned in the resolve code get executed now let's go to new whatever we have mentioned in the new get executed and if we select some other case because we have not declared the same with the value right so let's say I click on hold then default get execute see here or see default get execute so I believe now you have understanding right that how we can use the switch statement right I believe you have a better idea of it now so friends this is all for this video I have mentioned all the syntax which I have demonstrated in this video in my website you will be finding that website page or link in a description below so if this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you friends have a nice day bye bye